Hi, and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Andy, and I'm here with Troy from Western Union. Hi, Troy. Hi, thanks for inviting me today. Absolutely. Can you tell me about Western Union? So Western Union is a global leader in cross-border and cross-currency payments. We're in about 200 countries today and about 500,000 locations worldwide. Wow, excellent. I see an architecture on the board here, but before we dive into this, can you, can you tell me the use case you're trying to solve for? So really Western Union being you know, globally, and that includes our footprint within AWS, so we're in multiple regions today with multiple different accounts broken up into products and business units. We really needed a way to deploy consistent architecture um, and patterns across different uh, locations, regions, accounts from a central location. Excellent, can you walk me through how you actually do that? So we start with the kind of our deployment engineer and what they do when we conceptualize a new, uh, new account or business unit or some need for a new, a new account is what they'll do is in the hub account, they'll deploy a cloud formation. And the cloud formation is really doing four things. It's re really creating a service catalog portfolio for that specific business unit account. It's associating products that are going to be deployed later in that spoke account underneath that portfolio. It's creating a pipeline that's going to be used for product updates in a later stage, but it's also calling a Lambda um, as a custom resource, which is doing a lot of the magic behind the scenes. So tell me about this Lambda. What is it actually doing? So when the portfolio and the products associated with that uh, portfolio are deployed, the Lambda will pick that up as a custom resource. And what the Lambda does is it associates with parameters the remote spoke account. So what it does is it'll actually create a share with that service catalog portfolio that was created in the, in the hub account. So it'll create a share there, and it'll basically mirror that portfolio. So what it does is it creates is what is called an imported portfolio. Now once you're in the imported portfolio, the Lambda will also do a share. So on the other side, you have to accept that share. What it also does is it creates a local copy of that portfolio inside of that, inside of that remote spoke account. The other thing Lambda does is it deploys a launch constraint specific to that uh, remote spoke account that allows you to deploy products from that, from that uh, hub account that'll show up in the spoke account. So it could be an EC2, it could be a full tech stack. Whatever we build from an architecture and approve from an architecture perspective. Excellent, so let's say I'm an application developer. Right? How do I fit into this workflow? So after this underlying infrastructure built and you have the local share and all the capabilities are there, really from an app dev perspective and what they do is from basically from a GitOps perspective is now that they can go into code commit which is the source for the code pipeline, update a, an existing product, maybe make a new version to the product, maybe make some tweaks and changes, maybe they want to move it from dev to QA, UAT and prod, things like that. They'll go in, update that template, so when that code commit um, change gets made, that basically triggers the pipeline. Once the pipeline triggers, we do an S3 backup of that version in case we need to back up. We also do some syntax validation. We also do some security checking to make sure they're not over permissive IM roles or zeros in security groups, things like that. After we move it to the deploy phase in code pipeline, that'll actually use the action as a target to target service catalog to now go send that product after met all the checks, back to service catalog. And because the service catalog is now already shared into the remote account, those products will show up as deployable in that remote spoke account. And then we can only allow those certain developers or um, deployment engineers, whoever it may be, to just access that specific portfolio and those specific products for deployment. Can you give me an idea on the number of products or versions of them? So for specific self-service products, we some, we're around eight, maybe seven or eight hundred for certain products. For different tech stacks, which may constitute an entire application, we have less, and it maybe just moves through the different environments. So it all depends on what we're trying to build, what we're trying to deploy, and who we're trying to allow to deploy it. Thanks for walking us through the Troy. It's great to see how you're using Service Catalog to deploy products from your hub account into your spoke account, and additionally understanding how products can be configured and provisioned for the way that you need them for a Western Union. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.